Hi there, Pastor Brian Eno with your Thriving Through Hope devotional for June 9th, 2020. I'd like to start with a question. What causes you the most stress, fear, or anxiety in your life? Is it FOMO, the fear of missing out? This fear is what caused so many people to hoard hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and meat during the pandemic. They didn't want to go without. Maybe it's FOBU, the fear of being offline. A recent study revealed that Americans look at their phone as high as 96 times a day. That's like once every 10 minutes. No wonder we're afraid of being offline. Or is it FOMU, the fear of messing up, the fear of letting people down, the fear of failure? This fear can be crippling and it can lead to high anxiety and deep depression. The COVID-19 pandemic has only amplified these types of fears. Did you know that Jesus addressed anxiety in his teachings? In Matthew chapter 6, we can read what he said about that. I'd like to read to you, starting at verse 25, on Jesus' teachings regarding anxiety and stress. He said this, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. For your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautiful as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for the wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Jesus here is teaching us the importance of having a proper perspective on life. To not look at life through a magnifying glass where we make everything bigger than it actually is. In his teachings, he asked a very important question here. He said, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Well, the answer is no. Most of the things that we worry about don't even actually happen. Studies have shown that as high as 85% of the things that we worry about don't happen or they're beyond our control. God's answer for worry is found in Matthew 6, which we already read when he said, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. This morning I was reading in Matthew chapter 8 as I was spending time with the Lord, and I came across the story where Jesus was crossing the lake in a boat with his disciples when a huge storm arose. His disciples were fearing while he was sleeping. They were so afraid that they woke Jesus up and asked for his help. And Jesus responded with a question. His question was, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. See, when we fully trust God, there's no room for fear. We read in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord completely. In everything you do, put God first and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. To fully trust in the Lord means we put him first in everything we do, say, and think. His kingdom always comes first. So what can you and I do today to demonstrate to the Lord that we fully trust him? Let's strive to show him that we trust him completely. Make it a great day, and God bless.